Hi friends! Looking through the offers on AliExpress, I decided to buy another voltage converter. The converter is for cars. The inverter came on time, but after tests, it turned out that it does not have protection from increased and reduced power and short circuit. There are no fuses, so to use it in this state is quite dangerous. But the converter has an undeniable advantage, compact size, good output power of about 100 to 120 watts, and stylish appearance. For this reason, it was decided to create something more useful on its basis. As a result, this project appeared. This is an autonomous power outlet, a power source which can supply small mains load when you are at outdoor trips away from civilization. To it can be connected TV, power adapters for any laptop, charge gadgets and even small loads which include an integrated collector motor. The output voltage is about 220 volts, a little less or more. 50 Hz frequency, 50% filling. The shape of the output voltage is a modified sinusoid. It is lightweight, compact and quite powerful. Powered by built-in lithium-ion battery. Drawbacks associated with protection were eliminated in a simple way and the inverter was not remade. For lithium batteries, a protection card has been added that will disconnect the battery if the voltage on it is below critical. The same board provides protection against short circuits. And this protection works at currents of about 20 amperes. The board is designed to work with three consecutively connected lithium-ion batteries. That is, in systems of 10.8 volts. Initially, it was designed for 10 amperes. The protection current depends on the voltage drop on the current sensor. That is, the shunt of 0.01 ohm. I connected the same type shunt in parallel. This increased the protection current twice. In general, there are exactly such boards for 20 amperes. But I hadn't them at the moment, therefore it was necessary to experiment. A couple of powerful transistors provide switching. I was afraid that they would not withstand currents of 20 amperes, but as it turned out later, everything was fine. If the electronics for you is more than one-time occupation, we recommend the site of GLCPCB, where you can quickly order any PCB for your projects. GLCPCB is a huge factory specialized in the creation of industrial high-quality printed circuit boards of any complexity, number of layers and shapes. The boards are made according to your Gerber files in the shortest time. The price starts from $2 for 10 pieces. Free delivery is available at the first order. A link to the site you will find in the description. The rechargeable battery consists of three 18650 type units connected in series. To increase the total capacity, every unit consists of three batteries connected in parallel. All batteries are taken from old laptop batteries. They were thoroughly tested for capacity and internal resistance. All have almost identical parameters. Altogether, it turned out to be one big battery for 10.8 volts with a capacity of 6 amperes hour, almost analogous to a battery for an uninterrupted power supply. But in size and weight, well, look here. The battery is charged from the mains. For this purpose, a small power source is added, supplemented by a voltage and current stabilizer. This is a 12 volt adapter, which, after small changes, began to produce the output 14 volts. The maximum current is about 1.5 amperes. About the voltage and current stabilizer, this is a ready made board based on the LM2596 chip. The maximum charge current is limited to 1 amperes. The charging voltage is set to 12.6 volts. Now you can see the complete assembly process of this unit and in the end we will test it.
I think the project is quite essential and the most important is that the device is completely safe and reliable in operation. Power of the device is enough for charging any laptops to power TV, charge all sorts of gadgets, video cameras. The shape of the output voltage is a modified sinusoid, but it will be enough to feed small collector motors. Such a thing can be very useful for tourists, people who often go on long trips, adventurers or for people who are waiting for the apocalypse. I collected it for domestic use and in case of power outages. In the future it is planned to supplement the device with a solar battery and relay switching system so that it can be used as a full-fledged source of uninterrupted power supply. Friends, if this video was useful, please rate it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to sign up for our group on Facebook. The link is in the description. Now I have to say goodbye. Until new meetings. With you was Kasyan TV.